And welcome to the ETF Edge portion of Halftime Report. I'm Bob Pisani. A new actively managed ETF launched just this week to join the crowded list of tactical ETFs that move in and out of asset classes. Can you really do this successfully? Let's talk to an old friend, Katie Stockton from Fairlead Strategies, who just launched the Fairlead Tactical Sector ETF. Great to see you down here in Perth. It's been a couple you of years. Too, Bob. It has been. Are it's you, a little quieter than it used to be. Yes. <laughs> what are you trying to accomplish with this new ETF? Well, I, I'm trying to help people employ technical analysis in a systematic fashion. So I think we all embrace technical analysis and the values of it for market timing, for risk management. Uh, but we struggle with employing it in a systematic way. And that, I think, is how you really succeed in using the charts. So we've done that. We've built a model using our methodology. And that model, uh, over time, it, you know, it's allowing us to leverage the upside in the equity market while also minimizing drawdowns. You're focusing on momentum, oversold readings, et cetera. And you trade S&P sectors, treasuries, gold, cash equivalents, right? That's right. So the focus really is on the sectors, first and foremost. We want to leverage the upside momentum and sector leadership. We're rotating among the sectors and making sure that we're exposed to the ones that have that long-term upside momentum. Yeah. So the problem here is there's more than a dozen of these tactical ETFs. They trade in and out of asset classes. It's hard enough to trade stocks in and out, but when you're dealing with different asset classes, it really gets difficult to do. What kind of edge do you have over the competitors? Well, I think it is. It's the technical edge, for one, using these mathematically based indicators that will keep you honest. They tell us when long-term momentum has shifted enough to dictate that repositioning. The sector leadership piece is another differentiating factor that allows us to leverage the upside when the market is trending strongly. And when it gets into some kind of range bound environment or downdraft, that's where we start to see movement in the model from those sectors into gold, treasuries and cash. And it's also that balance that we strike on that front that allows us to outperform. OK, it's the Fairlead uh, Tactical Sector Fund. Symbol is T-A-C-K. Katie, great to see you again. You now, coming too. up on ETF Edge, U.S. regulators are getting worried that retail investors may be getting in over their heads trading complex products like leverage and inverse ETFs, options, even Bitcoin futures ETFs. They are warning the brokerage community to be careful about recommending the products and asking whether more regulation is necessary, such as should retail traders be required to take a test before they're allowed to trade these products. My guest coming up, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, attorney Thomas Gorman from Dorsey & Whitney, Dave Nautic, financial futurist at ETF Trends, Kim Arthur, CEO of Maine Management, ETFedge.cnbc.com. Halftime, back right after this.